today we have yet another T2 haul. So if you're curious to see what I picked up, then stay tuned. Welcome back to Tea Leaf Project. My name is Stephanie and uh, here on the channel we talk all about tea related issues. Um, I also have an Instagram which I'll link down here if you want to check that out. Um, and then also I do have a um, like a personal Instagram and other places where you can find me so I'll link that down in the description box. Today we have um, some other goodies from T2. I had no, no, I, I don't know. I was not going to buy any anything else tea related for a while. And I really meant that. Um, one of these things T2 sent me because if you saw my previous video, my teapot arrived broken. So they did um, finally resend that. I don't know, um, previously when I've contacted T2 regarding issues, um, they were very quick to respond. However, this time it took some time, about a week. After a week, I reached out to them on Instagram. They have a, a US Instagram now. They got back to me and they said, you know, uh, we don't really do much. We're unable to help with customer service issues on Instagram, but send them an instant message on Facebook. That's what I did, and they got back very quickly and then sent out the replacement. So going forward, I'll just contact them on Facebook Messenger. Um, okay, and, and that tends to be the issue. Their customer service is in Australia. So, you know, when they're re reading my instant message, it's at, um, you know, 1 o'clock my time in the morning. So there, the time difference definitely causes some issue. But let's get right in. So the first thing is the replacement for my teapot. This is what they call their ombre opulence. And I love, love this. This is a very large teapot. You've got the lid. My other one arrived and the handle was all broken. So at least I'll have a replacement lid and an infuser. The infuser is very nice. Stainless steel basket, fine. Um, fine infuser so you can put rabies or other things in there. It is just such a beautiful, beautiful pot. I love that. So I'm glad to finally have one that is all in one piece and uh, I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this one. Okay, so the other items. So YouTube, it can be very, very bad because again, I had no, no, um, I I wasn't going to order anything. I'm drinking some bird and blend tea, by the way, here it's uh, called fairy dust. But I had no, no intent to order. But I saw Val over, I think her channel name is Val Decals, and I'll link her below. I love her, um, love her videos. She, much like myself, has honestly gotten to a point where David's tea just doesn't hold quite the appeal to me anymore. I do have a couple things that I ordered that I received that I bought on deep discount. That's that's what I'm doing now. Unfortunately, there's some videos I want to get up and review, but I don't want to pay full price for these teas. I'm not going to pay full price for cups because I had cups that I bought at Christmas time that I can get now on the website for $4. The cups aren't moving. The teas aren't moving. I know inevitably this stuff's going to be on markdown and then I'll snap it up then. The things that I bought recently were all on markdown. Um, but at this point, I would rather put my money into good quality pieces that are beautiful that speak to me the most recent mug from david's tea is a mushroom it's a nordic mug with mushrooms on it although i understand why they did that because the whole collection had much of it had a mushroom vibe like with chaga chaga or whatever but i just don't find the mug to be all that appealing if I can get it on markdown for five bucks, I'll buy it. Otherwise, I'm not. 
Same with the tees. I just don't find that the tees sound too appealing. And I have an entire cabinet of nothing but tees that I bought for reviews. But then I just don't revisit them because I don't love them. And so I just, that is something I am sticking to. Unless it's on deep discount from Davis Tea, I'm not going to buy it. I just haven't been all that excited about it. But T2, on the other hand, so Val did a, so Val's kind of like me. She's done, she's just not in love with David's tea anymore. And so she did a, another uh, T2 haul. Again, I'll link her T2 video before, below. Love her personality, love her videos, and um, she's really into T2. And she's a lot like me too, where, um, I don't mind driving to get to tea. My David's tea is like an hour away, hour, 20 minutes. Um, or if I have to drive someplace to get something, I'll do it. And so she's the same way. And I love that because she's kind of like me in that regard. And she's a mom. And I just, I really like, um, I, I find myself gravitating towards, I think, people that I can relate to, if that makes sense. But I, I really like her videos. But anyway, I digress. I'll have to put the timestamp down below when I actually start showing the items. She did a haul and I love the pieces that she showed. So that is the only reason I ordered. Only reason. Plus they had some free tea, so free tea boxes with, I think, I don't know if it was a $50 order. I can't remember what the amount was. Okay, so first things first. This is, I think they're calling it the basket weave uh, print. And it is fine bone china, which I think is, is very nice. Fine bone china generally means that there's bone. I'd have to look it up again for sure. But I think um, there's bone in the... Um, actually in in what makes it but I don't know that they're doing like the old vintage pieces I think have that but I don't know that the new ones do I don't know you know a good person to to find out about that stuff I want to say tea with Jan did a video on what bone china was and information I'll find that video and link it below she's another good person to check out um, particularly for vintage tea wear She's very knowledgeable on those things. So I'll link her below that video because I'm, I'm almost positive she did one on that. Anyway, I'm not an expert on what bone china is, so I shouldn't even be speaking about it. But this is what I do know is that this is beautiful. Um, so it has, again, that very fine mesh infuser. And you can kind of see through it, which tends to be the case with fine bone china. You, I don't know if you can tell with the lighting, but you can kind of see the pattern on the inside. Um, this holds quite a bit. I want to say it holds maybe like four cups. And so you just have the, um, the navy with yellow and then the yellow with navy and the gold. I just think this is such a classy, beautiful happy piece it, it kind of makes you feel bright and happy when you see it so I just love this so I got that um to go along with that they had a little um a pretty little um because sometimes if I'm going to have milk with my tea I'll just maybe froth a little and and put it in that kind of thing and so it's just I like it too because they're not so matchy matchy they're all kind of a little it kind of comes across as being a little eclectic, but I like that look. So we have that. And then the last piece I got to go with that set is, I can find it here, this. This little teacup. So you've got that yellow there, and this is a very large teacup, very large so you can see how it kind of just all coordinates. It's it's It matches, but again, it's not matchy-matchy, and I love that. It's got the gold detail on the handle, and then kind of like a scalloped edge on the saucer, which I think is very nice. And this, again, is all bone china. So we have that set. Okay, so um, I ended up, I had gotten one of these mugs in 
my last video. This is again Bone China. I got the pink one. Um, it's just a huge, huge mug. It's great for lattes. It's a teacup, but I call it a mug. And then it comes with two plates. So you have your saucer for your cup, and then you've got a dessert plate, which I absolutely love. So I have a blue one and the pink one, and I thought this would be really nice, like if I was going to, let's say my mom came over and I was gonna serve a little snack and some tea. I just thought that might be a kind of nice to have two of them. So I got one of each color. The next, oh, you know, actually I forgot. I actually got the sugar container too to go with that yellow set. And I love, again, it, it all, again, it coordinates, but then it's not so matchy-matchy, and I love that. So we got the, the sugar to go with the creamer. So I have the entire tea set for that. Um, next up, so this is a tea set that I actually saw on Val's channel, which is what kind of prompted me to order. And she had picked this up and I loved the the color of it so it's a pink little set a uh, teapot it's very small it's it's probably just like a one cup size um I don't think it says bone china on here so yeah I don't think it's bone china um but it's just like a one little cup size but it's very cute I really still love that and again another one of these very nice stainless steel fine infusers got that and then to go with it um, I have the little milk um, milk container so that's kind of again matchy but they match but they don't which I love and then the cup is right here so this is kind of like on a pedestal which I love and um, so you've got kind of this kind of reminds me of an Easter set. So you've got the pastels, yellows, pinks, blues, and kind of like a kaleidoscope. Like, you know, if you look through one of those kaleidoscope things, that's kind of what it reminds me of. And then you've got the cup, again, that pink with the blue and yellow and gold. And then you've got um, print on the inside of the rim, like a floral print. It does kind of dwarf the teapot but that's fine you know it's just a perfect amount for a cup of tea which is fine I think it's very pretty and then again we have the little um the little milk container to go with it so I just thought that these were so pretty and again T2 they are by far my absolute favorite tea wear company and I was like laughing to myself the other day because I know of like oodles of people that I have kind of gotten into T2 because I know when I first started doing T2 videos, there weren't a lot of people out there buying it. And I was thinking, man, I sure wish they had had an affiliate program. They're probably wondering like, why are we getting all these orders now? But they're fantastic, fantastic. And I love seeing T2 videos. Um, so if you guys order you know, let me know what you order, or I love seeing videos. I scour Instagram to see what people pick up. So just love it. Oh, and then the, the teas I got for free. Um, just peppermint, a 1.7 ounce, and it again, just peppermint. I like peppermint tea at nighttime. And I also got lemongrass ginger. You couldn't pick the teas. They just provided them to you. This one is actually wonderful. I was able to get a box of their tea bags of lemongrass ginger from Nordstrom. Nordstrom at some at one point was selling T2. Dillard's was selling, not Dillard's, um, Von Mar was selling T2. So every so often you'll find some of the department stores selling T2. And um, so I got a box of it like for five bucks, really cheap. They were marking all the stuff down on Nordstrom. I think they were gonna stop selling it. Um, but I love this one at night. I don't add sweetener. It, it's perfect. It's just the perfect balance of ginger and lemongrass, and that's all that's in it. Um, but it is a phenomenal nighttime tea, and I love, love this one. So I was happy to get another uh, bit of it. This is loose leaf. And again, what I've got is um, tea bags. So pretty happy to have that. But that is it. That's everything from T2. 
So I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I ordered that I didn't need but ordered. Um, but questions, leave those below. And as always, thanks for watching.